you there. You look like you know your way around a fight. How about putting your skills to the test? Ah, hello. There's something I want to discuss. Remember when I told you I wish to study in America? Well, I've looked into it, but have heard little back. But then I realized that the black ships docked in Yokohama. They must be laden with the latest books and other marvels from the West. I've made up my mind. The answer is to sneak aboard and borrow the things I need to further my education. I've given that a lot of thought. I thought I'd ask the assistance of someone who once did the same. Well, I know of at least one person who did. Let me introduce you to him. This is Sawamura, a ninja of Iga. I've seen you before. The Veiled Edge assassin who fought Perry aboard the black ship. Thanks to the fuss you kicked up, I was able to finish my mission. Wait... You infiltrated the black ships as well? Well, <laughs> I'm more confident than ever now there's two of you. Mr. Fukuzawa translated the documents we stole from the ship. I owe him one. It will be easy to get aboard through the hold, just like the last time. I'll make my way to the deck and secure an escape route. Sawamura has made all the necessary preparations. We can go anytime. So you will help us infiltrate the ship, won't you? I do have to make one important request. Remember, we're doing this for the sake of educating ourselves. I beg you, refrain from killing as best you can. Sawamura, over to you. are none the wiser. the workings of a new type of steam engine. Can't wait to pour over this. Building a steam engine of this size requires incredible technology, not to mention a tremendous amount of iron and labor.
silence has a shadow. Fair plays stand a fighting chance against such cannons. If we're to survive, we must adopt the Westerners' ways. Sounds like he's suffering. Already spread from his lungs. The poisoner. She knows how to cure me. <laughs> the witch. Cure tuberculosis? Do they really know how to do that in America? He's gone. Let us leave him to rest in peace.
quite a complex telescope, this. I must get Igashishi to examine it for me. I think this is enough of a haul. Let's go and find Sawamura. Let's go. Where's Sawamura gone to? given me exactly what I want. I particularly appreciate your restraint in subduing those in your way. Aside from that last unavoidable bit of conflict, of course. Nevertheless, there is one thing in particular on my mind. I haven't been able to stop thinking about what we saw. Very perceptive. I have no match for you. The sailor mentioned a poisoner who could cure him. Of course, he might well have been delirious in his final moments. But tuberculosis itself is not unlike a deadly poison. How could one use poison to cure it? There are ancient ninja arts that counter one poison's effects with another's. Perhaps tuberculosis can be suppressed the same way. Of course! The smallpox vaccine works the same way. My medical teacher developed it, you see. It uses a weakened version of the disease to protect against its full-blown form. Perhaps there's a similar treatment for tuberculosis. I wonder what other American medical advancements have we yet to learn. This only strengthens my resolve. I must go there no matter what. And I will return to Japan with a veritable treasure trove of knowledge. Even the cure for tuberculosis. I know it.
you again. Tell me, why were you with the outsiders at Kanagawa Post? The one who showed up at the U.S. Consulate. Ah, oh, so that's why you are hand in glove with Harris. I accept that you have your own motivations, so I won't pry any further. But, I can't overlook the fact that you worked as an outsider's stooge. If you want our trust, you'll have to earn it. The official's just ahead. As you showed up, I'm guessing you'll help me to deliver justice, right? Good. Then we depart at once. I'll fill you in on the way. Follow me. Our destination is the official's residence. He's a corrupt man who's grown fat by taking bribes from foreigners. He's especially close to the British and is constantly surrounded by a detail of their soldiers. The man's rotten to the core, and Japan will rot too if his kind are allowed to remain in power. The mere sight of him will awaken you to the righteousness of our cause. I'll let you know when I see him. Once they get this message, the other officials will think twice before taking any donations under the table. We've done a service to the people. Good work. You're prepared to risk life and limb for the sake of the Japanese people. Now that I've seen that, I can trust you. As of this moment, we are comrades in arms, in the truest sense. From now on, I'm willing to put my life on the line for you. I anticipate great things for us.
There you are. I wanted you to have this. You worked hard after all. I think we should stay in touch in the future. You amenable to such an idea? I told you I don't have anything more to ask of you. I simply wish to talk. I have nothing more to say. Welcome! certainly live up to my expectations. Do you have the letter? Ah, yes, that is the very one. You have my gratitude. Did you run into any trouble? I'd expect nothing less from you. My benefactor will be pleased. Thank you. Oh, by the way, Mr. Sakamoto is looking for you. He said, when you have a moment, you should head to the Sakura Inn. Chief Minister Yi removed all trace of the Imperial Edict to expel the foreigners. So began his ruthless campaign to suppress the anti-Shogunate forces. How are you faring? Hello! Has a Fukuzawa given you what I need? Splendid! We are going to use the Fukuzawa's concoctions and the worthless gadget we collected from my storehouse to fool those government goons. They'll be waiting for me at the commissioner's office. If you're ready, I'll head over there right this instant. Are you up for it? Hurrah! 
Follow me. The moment is upon us. Once I drink this poison, its whole systems go. I'll head in alone first. I need to go about things as usual, or I'm liable to roast us. Wait until I've started showing them my useless inventions. Then make your entrance. Understood? I'm ready. Should I go ahead and drink the poison? Kuzawa should already be inside on some sort of pretense. When I collapse, he'll come and confirm my death. The official and his cronies don't know about us, so they'll have no reason to doubt him. With both you and Fukuzawa on hand, I'll be able to rest in peace. Temporarily, of course. Ugh. Well, that was revolting. <laughs> But now we must act quickly. Here I go.
conclusion. If you use it precisely as I have explained, uh, it could very well be a most formidable weapon. We'll have to familiarize ourselves, but this could be very useful. Who's this? <laughs> my apologies, just one of my assistants. I said they should come, but... Uh, uh... <laughs> hey! What's wrong with you? Mr. Fukuzawa, seize with the man! Of course, excuse me. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. This man is dead. Oh. He's dead. He's really dead. Quick! Summon to his invasion and hide it somewhere. No one outside this group is to see yes, it. Sir. Here! You've seen too much. You are not leaving this place alive. Get them! Kill them now! taking any longer I just about saw my grandfather and great-grandfather waiting at the pearly gate oh thank goodness I wasn't convinced the antidote would work so I diluted the poison as best I could I think you might have died if I hadn't in any case I am relieved you're safe please never come to me with a request like this again well did my plan work Really? It's not like I could see what happened. Being dead and all... Uh... It all went fine. You appear to have convinced them of your death, at least. Hurrah! Mission accomplished then. I suppose I'm now dead to the world, aren't I?
I've procured some fine wares. Thank goodness you're here. There's awful news. The Red Demon sent his master showing to death. I just heard about it too. This is Fumi, Master Showing's younger sister. An official told her they're planning to execute her brother soon. Please, help me save my brother. If we don't, here. We cannot allow this to happen. We need to muster the troops and get Kasura to come up with some kind of plan. But first, we need to let Shinzaku and your husband know what's happening. They've been keeping their distance from Katsura, it seems. I'm talking about Genzoi. Fumi is married to him. The problem is finding Shinzaku. <sighs> Who knows where he's loitering? I'd say there's a good chance he's in Chinatown. I'll go and look for him there. If you wouldn't mind searching for my husband. I'm not sure it's safe for Fumi to go alone. Shinzaku's associating with some unsavory sorts, I hear. <laughs> Go after her, and help her find Shinsaku. Leave Kensui to me. I'm counting on you. Someone who sounded like Shinsako in the area. But then those thugs just surrounded me. No, I think you're likely to find Shinsako up ahead. But I've heard he's been rather unruly of late. I thought me being there might make him less likely to act up. But I fear I will just be a burden to you. Will you go to Shinsoku in my stead? Thank you so much. Please, be careful. I'll be waiting at the Sakura Inn. 